Peeps, this is the last day of Wispapalooza 2016, and uh, we finally got uh, Brian from uh, Baltic Networks nailed down. I uh, imagine lots of people know who Baltic Networks is, but uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, hi Mike, good morning. Um, so we've been in the industry for about 10 years. We're a distributor and bar of wireless broadband products. We have our own uh, OEM manufacturing line called MaxWave and uh, wanted to uh, basically um, talk a little bit today about this new box we just introduced. Um, it's been a little over a year in the making, but um, we're glad it's finally available. It's a virtualized appliance box that runs uh, VMware ESXi, uh, and on top of that has a modular interface so we can put different network interfaces uh, in the box. And uh, on top of that, we actually run MicroTik uh, Router OS, um, the Cloud Core uh, series software. Um, what that allows you to do is it gives you the flexibility to have uh, multiple instances of Cloud Core so you can fully utilize the processing power. This box has a quad core 4 gigahertz processor, uh, comes 16. Uh, gigabytes of RAM, you can expand it to 64 gig of RAM, um, a Samsung 128 gig SSD a PCIe um, is inside this, and um, we find it really good as an edge router type device for folks that are doing BGP type routing, or if you have a lot of queuing or NAT type stuff, a lot of firewall rules, um, the quad core. Um, has a really good, the Intel, this is an Intel Sandy Bridge actually, so it is the latest generation and um, it has really good performance um, for, uh, for the service providers. Um, one of the things that we, uh, we uh, when we started working on this box is we wanted to have something that we knew that was going to be very flexible and expand um, to most uh, users' needs. Um, I can give you a, um, we have a sure. selection of different types of network cards. We have a, uh, a uh, eight port um, copper gigabit card. We have a four, four port fiber card with a four port copper interface. And then finally we have a, a two port uh, 10 gig card and a four port 10 gig card available. Okay. And we also have an eight port fiber SFP uh, interface card available. Finally, on the back side, you don't see it here in the picture, but the back side, we can add an additional four fiber interface ports. And you'll see we have a four port fiber card that's in this particular unit today. Um, you can also put another 10 gig card in here, a four port 10 gig card. So you can have up to eight 10 gigabit interfaces on this box. I'll uh, take you, uh, I'll take a, uh, I'll take the cover off here. You can take a look on the inside. This is the basically guts. We have a, uh, a dual AC hot swappable power supply system. Um, here's our RAM and then finally here's our SSD. We have another slot for another SSD so you can expand uh, for additional storage. And then finally here's our PCIe bus on the back and then our card slot on the front of this unit. Um, it's uh, got uh, speed variable fans for uh, temperature. It is, it is uh, an industrial appliance, so it has quite a wide temperature operating range. Um, rack mountable. And um, uh, yeah, that's really it in a nutshell. Of course, with VMware, you have the ability to actually run other virtual machines on top of it. So let's say you want to run a, win a Windows server, a DNS server, a mail server. Maybe you want to run another Ubuntu image alongside Router OS. Um, you can do that. So that's uh, some of the flexibility that this platform offers you. Okay. Yeah. The, I saw that there was. Uh, swing around so we get your booth instead of other people's booths. Uh, I saw that uh, that uh, on those uh, you had uh, dual power supplies. Uh, are they hot swappable? They are hot swappable. Yes. Uh, um, and then uh, I see people out. At times asking about you know if there's DC and you know what voltages type supports, what all does that support? Currently, we only have AC power supplies available. Although um, we're looking into a DC power supply option, but okay. as of right now, it's just okay. AC only. Yeah, it, uh, um, but at, uh, just having them hot swap is is a nice uh, nice benefit on there. And um, uh, my 
Edge Microtech routers are x86 based. They're they're older, but I know that that's has tremendous power mm -hmm. over the Microtech provided solutions. Um, mine are all installed on bare metal, but uh, you know, I have a huge VMware environment. Well, huge for a Wisp. So one of the and, advantages uh, of not running router OS on bare metal these days is because the drivers in router OS would have to support many different types of interface sure, cards. Sure, sure. We're letting VMware support the wide variety of interface cards that are available in the Intel and various other worlds. And then uh, router OS only has to support the hypervisor interfaces. Oh, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's, you know, for so long they seem to kind of ignore the x86 market because there's so many things going on, so many changes. And, uh, you know, there's a definite benefit to having VMware manage that because they're already managing that for their other server platforms anyway. And if they can just present the, uh, you know, VXNet or VMXNet, whatever that uh, the driver is, and router runs with that, then, uh, then great. Um, about, uh, about what does that uh, run price wise? It's just a little under $2,000, about 1800 or so. Comes uh, with everything you see here, minus the the fiber card. Okay. Um, and the fiber cards range anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to three, four hundred dollars, depending on the configuration. So. Okay. At uh, is that uh, on the shelf now? People can order it's, it and it's ready for availability and delivery today. Okay. Good deal. Yeah. It, uh, it's a. Uh, it's nice to see that uh, there's a nice package solution for that you know high end Microtech router. Um, and uh, I, I see on your table here also you had uh, some other uh, other devices that, that, that run on DIN rails. I know that just recently I started moving all of my stuff to be DIN rail mounted. It's a lot more organized. What, do you, what sort of work have you done in... So we have um, our MaxWave. This is uh, an x86 based device that's uh, DIN rail mounted. It's uh, industrial hardened uh, temperature. Uh, dual DC power supply inputs okay. and uh, this guy will go down to a mop minus 40 degrees up to uh, uh, 170 or 180 degrees in temperature um, That should work anywhere <laughs> that should pretty much work anywhere. That's right, and then we have uh, we've taken the uh, the router board 9 um, 953 series it has uh, two SFPs on the back built in 802.11n um, gigabit ports on the front We've designed a case that allows you to uh, DIN rail clip um, this case to anything you want. So this is a good little um, fiber termination device. Um, could be a little tower router or whatever, but um, so um, the DIN rail case design's been really good. We hope to update a lot of our additional case designs with this DIN rail mounting uh, system. Okay, so. yeah, it's, um, it's, uh, those, those uh, DIN rail systems ought to work well alongside, I know that, uh, you know, packet flux, you know, Power, you know, uh, PoE devices, you know, DIN mountable, um, you know, some of the surge, surge suppression devices out there are DIN rail mountable. So nice just to have right. all of that mounted up nice and clean. It's not banging around when That's you're right. opening it. Um, yeah, we've noticed in the industry a lot of people are moving to DIN rail mount inside their tower enclosure. So we're really happy to see the uh, response on the DIN rail mount stuff. So. At, uh, and then uh, on your other router being, uh, you know, having dual DC inputs, that's great. Because then you could have this guy running in your knock, you know, where you've got AC, and then, you know, one of those running out your towers, um, you know, in an, you know, unconditioned environment. Yep. So it, uh, it, uh, you got a, a nice, uh, nice set of products here now. Um, we believe we do, and, uh, you know, we continuously try to advance, uh, the, uh, the the Microtech uh, product offerings with um, advancements in um, you know mounting or, or uh, unique solutions, and so uh, we're uh, really happy with that offering. So, okay. well, uh, thank you for your time today, Brian, and uh, have a good look. Thank you, Mike. The rest of the show. All right, you too.